What is up guys, Tony here, and today we're doing a review of Skyrim on NVIDIA Surround, or 3 monitor setup, as it's more commonly known. And uh, today we're going to be talking about how it interfaces, how it works out of the box. And uh, first off, as you can see, this is with the wide, this is the most optimized settings for Skyrim on uh, the widescreen fixer and everything. And there's a lot of problems. Um, the widescreen fixer fixes the aspect ratio, and the, and the gameplay itself works fine. Uh, but you'll notice there's a lot of weird things where like part of the screen turns black, part like when see like right there when it loads in. And uh, also in the menus, you'll find that a lot of the objects that you could spin around and play with are very obscurely uh, like stretched out. But it doesn't really affect the gameplay too much. The gameplay itself is extremely playable. Uh, the other complaint is definitely that does actually affect the gameplay is that in the menus, uh, your mouse moves very quickly. Your sensitivity is inc extremely increased. Uh, I don't know why that is. It must be something to do with the fact of the resolutions being increased so far on the widescreen fixer that uh, for some reason they don't calculate in the mouse sensitivity to keep it like relatively what it normally is. I, I don't know. It's hard for me to explain. But it's something to do with definitely the resolution. And uh, unfortunately, the mouse sensitivity is a little too high. But usually, if you have a mouse sensitivity changer, if you have a gaming mouse, as you can see, my blue gaming mouse in the bottom right corner there moving around on the desk. Um, if you have a good gaming mouse, you can actually change the sensitivity on the fly, and that usually fixes that problem uh, quite well. Now, uh, in terms of just overall out of the box, how Skyrim performs, it, it definitely doesn't have NVIDIA surround support at all. Uh, in fact, most games that don't even have support for NVIDIA Surround do have the option to change your resolution to a f uh, 57 by 1080 or 1440, whatever your resolution is. In this game, you don't even have the option to uh, change your sensitivity. You actually have to go into the, I believe it's called the INI uh, uh, document on your system preferences in your documents and it's, it's under My Games. and uh, there's a whole process, and maybe I'll link you guys to a tutorial where I found out the best information about it. But basically, you go into the system preferences file for the game, you change the height and the width to the preference that you have for your your NVIDIA surround setup. Usually, 5760 by 1080 or 15, 5760 by 1440. And once you change those preferences, you should be able to um, get that resolution, but unfortunately then you have the problem of the uh, field of view and the aspect ratio being off. So then you need to get the widescreen fixer, uh, which fixes it pretty well. You don't really have to bugger around with the widescreen fixer too much. It usually works very well right off the start. And uh, as you can see, it looks great. Um, as far as its, its use in practice, is it worth having uh, NVIDIA Surround in your gameplay? If you play a lot of Skyrim, um, it's not going to improve your game whatsoever. But it def definitely does add a lot to the game of Skyrim. And this goes for any uh, sort of RPG, first person, or third person too, games. Uh, including uh, Far Cry 3, of course a very popular one right now. Which I do not have yet, but I'm hoping I can get it soon. And uh, probably next paycheck. But uh, yeah, it, it actually does add a lot to the experience. I mean, just seeing those massive landscapes on that little 1080p display is a pan is, it's not really it's not really pandering to the... The, the 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 like the the immense like size of the landscape and when you have the three displays I mean and you look at a landscape and you see all the mountains it's pretty it's pretty immense um so I think that in terms of gameplay it doesn't make you a better Skyrimmer I don't I don't know how it would it doesn't make sense because it's not a twitch shooter or anything but it does add to the aesthetics of the game. It does make the game a lot more visually pleasing. And if you are willing to pay for that, or if you have uh, a surround setup already, it would be worth it, worth it to check out Skyrim on the surround setup. And uh, yes, that's pretty much that. Um, overall, it functions well with NVIDIA Surround. Like I said, I only had one problem with the mouse sensitivity, but you can change your sensitivity on your mouse if you have that option. And if, and if not... Um, maybe turn down your mouse sensitivity in the settings or whatever works for you. Um, and what else? Oh, also, that's actually, <laughs> that just reminded me, this is actually a big gameplay thing. I don't know why it does this, but usually when you are shooting arrows, I was just shooting arrows at that giant. Uh, when you shoot arrows on Skyrim, it lines up, like, perfectly with the, like, the, the flat line reticule. And, uh, you just have to aim a little bit higher. For some reason, when you do the NVIDIA surround, it actually makes the arrows go a little bit to the left of the reticule. Actually, all the way at the end of the of the line. So, 
for some reason, when you shoot, your arrows go a little bottom left, uh, which is kind of annoying. Um, but I found myself, as I was playing, I played a lot, played a few hours on this. Um, I found myself, as I was playing, getting used to it and just shooting like that. Sort of like Battlefield, when you're looking for bullet drop. Uh, but for some reason, there's a very weird misalignment with the arrows. And uh, I haven't seen the same misalignment with the swords. So, uh, no problem there. Or the magic. But for some reason, with the arrows, it's a little misaligned. Don't know why it does that. Uh, don't ask me. But anyway... This is my this has been my review for the Skyrim Nvidia surround setup. Uh, this also, of course, you can do it with Ifinity or any other three monitor display, and uh, I think it works great. And I think that you guys should check it out if you have the opportunity to. And that's pretty much it. I am Tony, and I'll see you guys next time. I also forgot to mention if you would like to see any other games reviewed like this for Nvidia surround setups, go ahead subscribe to my channel or check out my channel, and I'll have more videos just like this posted for other games on the PC.